brought him here, and then well, you, you've got no idea how desperate we were, Jack. There was Keanu, and there was Nish. We knew how suspicious people would be with both of them, and, and we, we were so scared that no one was going to believe us. So you buried him in this calf, where a lot of you pop in for tea and cosy chats. Well, it hasn't been easy, believe me. You no, know I'll put people like you away. I'll let you down, I know. I... Come on, Jack. You know me. I... I'm the same person that. I've always been. Please. Please believe that, Jack. Why didn't you come to me? You don't tell me when it happened. If you were in trouble, I am your first port of call. Come on, you know that. That's what we tell the kids. Oh, that is totally different. And anyone couldn't have come to you because the... things were pretty bad with us at Christmas. You can come to me about anything. I'd go to the end of the world for you, to help you. I mean, surely you know that. So you're not going to gross on us, then? I've got to think. <sighs> Look, I'm a copper. All right, it's what I am. The only thing that means more to me than that Kids won't be able to cope without you. <laughs> Neither could I. I'm so sorry, Jack. I can't go to prison. The thought of leaving Raymond to name me Rakia. Oh, hang on. Neither of you two actually killed him, so if we leave now, there's nothing that actually links you to this. What are you two doing here? Well, we just told you. No. You told me what's happened. I'm talking about tonight. What are you two doing here now? And what's all this? Um... You remember when I lost my necklace? Tell me you're kidding me. No, that's why we're here, to get it back. 